Hi guys, today I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about what it's like being a single mom in the military. So for anyone that doesn't know, um, I am active duty Air Force. I work full time in Mountain Home, Idaho. I have a three and a half month old son. And when I say I am a single mom, I am not married. I have a boyfriend and he is an amazing father to my son. But he is not the biological father. Uh, his biological father is not in the picture and he's not in the picture for good reasons. He was a horrible man and always will be a horrible man. And someday, if you guys are interested, I will make a video and I will discuss what had happened with him and why he's not in the picture. Um, but until then, I'm just going to tell you a little bit what it's like being single and raising a son on your own in the military. So first off, finances. Everyone wants to always know about the finances. It's hard. I'm an E3 and I don't make that much money. I live off base. I own my own house so I have a mortgage and then I have utilities and just all the costs of having a child. Um, it's not cheap. Daycare alone is probably a, I don't know, a fourth of my paycheck and just diapers and wipes and he's growing so fast and making sure he needs or making sure he has the clothes he needs and just making sure he's taken care of. It's no longer what do I want, it's what does he need. And that's what we're gonna get <laughs> and we're gonna figure it out um, to break it down I get BAH I get BAS and then I get my base pay my base pay covers our vehicle payments so I have a way to get him where he needs to go and I have a way to get me to work and back um, BAH is enough to cover my house and part of my utilities but it does not cover all of it and then BAS obviously mostly goes to food and then whatever's left over is what we have for the rest of our bills so at the end of the month after I pay all of our bills I still have some costs left over like daycare um, and that's even with having him on base so it does make it hard, but we figure out how to make it work. I have my own Etsy shop where I make a lot of baby onesies, um, baby blankets, little hair scrunchies, just anything I can think of that I can make money off of for that little extra support just in case we ever need it in the month. So if you guys want, I will link that down below. Also, if there's anything that you guys want certain videos about, just ask me and I can do that for you. Um, so the next thing is just balancing my personal life with my military life, which is another thing that's really hard because I have a very demanding job and I am working all week long and I don't get off till 4.30, which really isn't that bad. But by the time I get home, I live an hour away from base. So by the time I get home and get little man all situated and everything ready for the night making dinner, there's not much time. So it's pretty much we have weekends and we usually travel back home. I'm originally from Salmon, Idaho. So we will either travel back home or get things done around the house. There's, there's just not enough time in the world to spend with my little man. I wish I had way more time because he's growing so fast and it's it's just hard having a little one because you want to be with them as much as you can and you can't in the military. There's a lot of time that you're away from your family and a lot of time that you're away from your friends and that's what makes it hard but it is a great job, it is a great career if you want to make a career out of it and it's just overall a great way to go. Uh, they cover all of our medical bills. They covered all my hospital bills when I had my son. And they've covered all of his pediatrician visits, everything. So that's definitely a plus. We have amazing insurance. Um, 
In my job, I am weapons. I work on the flight line. Uh, I enjoy my job, but I don't at the same time. Being a maintainer is a very stressful job. You have a lot of expensive equipment you're working with and working on, and there's always that fear that you're gonna mess up, and I know some people don't have that, but I always do because I don't wanna get in trouble. And I'm, it has to do with the fact I am still new. I'm still learning. When I first got in the military, I was probably in about six months, or I was at my base for probably about six months. I was almost in for a year when I got pregnant with my son and then I was removed from the flight line because you cannot work on the flight, flight line pregnant. And that was really hard because I lost a lot of time that I could have been training and I'm not as fluent in my career because of it, but I would never change it for the world. Um, I think if I could find another solution, I would. But right now, for me and my family, the military is the best solution. And I am proud to be in the military, and I'm proud to be a single mom. And I'm proud of how far I've come because of the military. Because my past was not a good past. It wasn't something that I wanted to stay in and not a good situation. I can also make a video about that if you would like to know more about that. Um, but really being a single mom in the military is hard at first but I know as I start ranking up it's going to be better and it'll be good for my family for me to be in the military and be able to take care of them and provide everything that I can like insurance um, the schooling just everything that the military has to offer for families and I know one day it will turn out great. I know it's going to take some time, but I am happy to say I'm in the military. So if you have any questions, this is my first video, so I'm just getting started with this. So just comment down below, help me out on some content, and I will make very, or I'll make new videos very soon. Um, yeah, just let me know what you think. Thanks, guys.